Hello everyone! Tonight we're going to take a look at a nudibranch. I really, really love nudibranchs and so I've been excited to share with you. Um, we are in Beachcombers tonight and I thought since many of you are wondering what's a nudibranch, we would do the quick description first. So this section is called nudibranchs and allies, as you can see. Subclass Opistobranchia and Gymnomorpha. The nudibranchs, or sea slugs, are favorites of divers, beachcombers, and snorkelers because many of them display such spectacular colors and patterns. Others have coloring that allows them to match their environment very closely. The nudibranch has a shell early in its life, but the shell is soon lost. Predators are few and far between. Many nudibranchs have chemical defenses or discharge stinging cells called nematocysts. All nudibranchs have a pair of intricate projections near the head called rhinophores, which help them detect chemicals in the water. Some of these chemicals can help lead the nudibranch to food sources. Uh, you may, I don't know how good my computer mic is, but you may be hearing popcorn. My partner is making popcorn in the background. So we're going to look at the orange spotted nudibranch tonight. So here's a picture for you. Nudibranchs really are very, very pretty. And this one is no exception. So the orange spotted nudibranch, Triopha catalinae, other names the sea clown Triopha or Triopha carpenteri. Description, they're usually white with an elongated body with bright orange or red tips on all projections. There are rhinophores and a circlet of branched gills. Size, they are normally to two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters long, but they can grow as long as six inches or 15 centimeters. They live in tide pools and kelp beds from the mid intertidal zone into water 115 feet or 35 meters deep. They range from Alaska to Baja, California. And notes, this nudibranch and other species have been observed crawling upside down on the surface of tide pools. The individual can do this by secreting a trail of slime and moving along it. If it falls, it merely crawls back to resume its course. This nudibranch feeds on bryozoans. If I'm interpreting this correctly, that is some pretty cool stuff that the nudibranch can do. Crawling upside down on the surface of tide pools, that's amazing. So here's one more look at this wonderful nudibranch. 